Hello everyone, this is Funnazone and today I'm gonna show you how to set up a Minecraft bucket server. I show you everything free and plugins and all that stuff. As for today, Bucket has released Minecraft 1.6.6 and it's stable and all working and the other builds were not working properly, that's what they said. So this is the recommended build and it works and that's what I'm gonna show you a tutorial about, not the other builds, the recommended build. So just create a new folder, server test, and in here we're gonna get the recommended build of Bucket, Bucket server software. Let's go to Bucket. Now you've seen this um, recommended build, 818. It'll probably be a little bit newer in the future, but this is just the same way as as this version. This video, this tutorial will always be the same for 1.6.6. They'll probably release some bug fixes and all that stuff for new releases. So remember to rename it from um, craftbucket 0.0.0 snapshot.jar to craftbucket only. Just like this, without captions or something. And now I can close this, and now I go into the search of craftbucket.org, and now I search for crafty. Link will be in the description. It's a server GUI which you can use for all versions. Um, it's I don't think it's recommended, but you can choose yourself. I'm just gonna do it because it works for me. Why am I even saying this? Just open it, and now you have two files: craft, crafty.jar, craft.bat. Now drag those in here. This is just an easier way than batching, coding and all that stuff. So you just launch the batch the batch file from here and it will load crafty in interface. The crafty interface. So now it's preparing spawn area and all that stuff. While that is doing it, we will go up to get plugins. And now let's just say you want to search for something like anti grief grief you can just search for grief and it follows something some uh, no TNT and all that stuff you can also just take some anti grief in two categories and all that stuff and but let's find magic carpet and as it's not in the category we're gonna click all so now we'll find a download button and download it and now save the dot jar file Maybe it's either either Vinral file or jar file, but I'm just gonna have uh, the jar file. So we're going to test plugins, save, and now it's saved. Now our world is fully loaded, and you can see the performance out here, and the active users and command, and the version. So we're just gonna click stop and exit. Take some time because it will. Please click the stop and exit because when you just click this just close it it will leave the process behind and then when you launch it it can't because you need to close it manually so remember to click stop and exit it is kind of slow a little bit but it's more safer so now uh, we're gonna go into certain properties now we're gonna edit this a little bit uh, allow nether you can just set that to true spawn monsters false true false server p which will come back soon enough false allow flight true because uh, then we don't get kicked when we use magic carpet whitelist false for now so now we have the for, uh, properties set up a little bit and we have the plugins so if we run this it will load the world region 0 and region 1 is Region 0 is world, region 1 is the net world. If you have set it up in the properties, you can always disable it. So now it has loaded a folder for magic carpet which, ha which has configurations and all that stuff. And here you can see that it is loaded and enabled. But we can't actually connect to it because we don't have we haven't set IP. We can connect to this port. It will not work as as properly so, so we're gonna set up the IP so um, you need to download this program called Hamachi 
it's a kind of little bit a uh, network like sharing network and all that stuff and the link will be in the description so you come up to network create a new network now you can name it whatever you want like minecraft server server uh, password just one to three or whatever you choose it create now it's created and how to so your friends also need login how much log me in how much they will go to network join existing network the network ID it needs to be the same as you typed it in it just can be like this it needs to be this so how many are set there is four and password one two three and join. Oops. Set many. Yeah, there. You own this network and are already a member of it. You can also set some other options by right clicking on the network and then set access. Do not accept new network members. You name this option to prevent others from joining this network. Approve all new members manually. So when some, uh, someone joins this, you, you need to right click and then approve it. So that's the basically way you do it. That um, now, oops, well, I closed it. Um, now you need the IP of of your machine up here. Five point fifty two. Five point fifty two point thirty one point two hundred four. So now we have that. Save. Close this. Restart. Uh, the server software. So we're now go into Minecraft and try to connect it to it. Just see how much time I wasted. Six, seven minutes. So now we'll go into multiplayer and connect to it. And it works. As you see. And now we have a fresh new world. It's kind of a little bit of laggy for me because I'm recording. Let, let's click MC and it sure works. And how do you up yourself in uh, Crafty? You go to Active Users, right click, you can either kick, kick by admin, we give the message. You can either um, ban, ban IP, get IP, as it works here, um, op, and de op. And I think that you will add much more uh, options, but it's not necessary. And you can, of course, launch commands here. Your commands like give and all that stuff. And you also have performance right here. So that's a really nice uh, interface. And it works better than batch file. So um, there is also other way than Hamachi. Because it kind of lags a little bit when you... It will take a lot of your network when there's a lot of members in it. And they are connected on the server it would take a lot of network so either you can buy a server like I do from multiplay.co.uk or you can configure your router like find out your router password and all that stuff and port forward uh, manually your router then you will set the IP of the router into your properties window and then it will use your network um, and I don't think it will use as much network because it's more I think it's more properly but I think you should buy it instead but if you want a private server with your friends you can just launch a log me in how much you server so thanks for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this have helped you if any recommendations or anything else I shall make for the next tutorial just leave it in the comments and remember all the links will be in the description now, now I'm ending this for now because I don't want to waste any more of your time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.